Another assumption of estrangement is the refusal to reconcile. My name is Kara Crossway Brindle, and as a mental health therapist serving adult children who've been estranged from a parent, this is a small piece of the puzzle. The parents and the people writing this in books and putting this in videos are saying the mother or father feels like the child is refusing to reconcile from a place of power and control. That might have some accuracy of wanting to feel like in control of something, but it's not meant to add additional hurt or harm to the parent. An adult child's choice to refuse to reconcile is their choice. That's exactly what it is. Maybe they don't feel like the relationship is worth repairing, which would be hard to hear as a loved one. Maybe they feel like there's something they want to see from you before reconciliation is possible. So to have this be a black and white, they flat out refuse to reconcile is a missed opportunity to ask some questions as to what do they need to see or experience with us as parents to then come back into a relationship that feels healthy and safe and worthwhile for both you as the parent and for the adult child. The assumption is they're doing this as a power play. We are here to debunk that. It's not about power. It is about a sense of control because they want to have autonomy and independence in their own life as adult individuals. So hopefully this can help you to see this as the assumption that it is. It's not meant to just make people's life hell. <laughs> it's really an adult child's experience of trying to make this better, trying to say this is going to change for the better. And that might mean that they're not ready to reconcile, which is something to sit in, do your own work around, seek therapy around, because this is on their timeline, not ours. So I hope this is helpful to you. I know this is a heavy topic. Join me for other assumptions when we talk about estrangement from loved ones. I'll see you in the next video.